what's up my people how you all doing so i'm back again with another one thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hi my name is lillian and i do hope that you subscribe i do hope that you like this video and when you subscribe i do hope that you turn on the bell notification so that when next i upload a video you will get notified by youtube if you have been on my channel for at least two years you know that i love all the investors in ghana cape coast campus happened to be the first campus that i visited in ghana i love all the schools and i have always stated that i love the tree planting culture in ghana i don't know if this is why i'm in love with the campuses i love them like love them yaga yaga like plenty of love right so let's check out atlantic hall i made i, I was doing their research late at night but i remember laughing like I think these guys are the happiest people in the world. They got no problem. Let's go and see what I'm talking about and I'll be back. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Atlantic Hall. The Great Atlantic Hall is also 62 years, currently in 2023. The name Atlantic Hall is due to the proximity of the Atlantic Ocean, which gives all athletes the name Mariners. The hall has over 300 rooms that can accommodate over 700 athletes. The hall is well known by the Amora. They believe it doesn't just entertain them but brings them together as a family the hall used to be all males hall and due to how hard and headstrong the boys were they had to fuse them with ladies but still as ladies joined them it never hindered them from their way of old style if you want to enjoy your stay on ucc campus then the great atlantic hall should be your dream hall As the name even suggests, ACL, we are always above the law. ATL, we're blue running from, from the great Atlantic UCC. When it comes to intellectuals, we stand beyond any form of boundary set. Atlantic Hall is very, very, very fun to be in. Apart from our great melodies, the peaceful, the noise making, the fun in the city, we are also good academically. Debates and arguments. When it comes to great people who are going out there, the likes of Project there, they are all for ATL. And I know that maybe we are going to get a car in this Atlantic Hall. Call our body base to be the intellectuals, and we are intellectuals. Only two halls on campus. We have ATL and the rest. Superissimo has the name effect. We rule in other universities, and then the world dies for us. Ajima, the 59th president of Atlantic Hall. So when we took over as the 59th executives of the hall, we saw the need to document the history of the hall for future generations to know what has happened in the past and how far each year has come. It has been established by consensus in the university that each year rules since 1962. We believe that God is a marina and no each year no UCC. Over the years, we've seen a lot of innovation that comes up in the university, most of which originate from Atlantic Core. That is why we call ourselves the peace setters of the university.
they have any problem they don't have any problem because if you have a problem you won't dance be this you won't be this happy these guys i envy them they don't get nothing bothers them they just just enjoying their life one day at a time and i'm like god when am i going to be like this where i don't have any worries just enjoy my life like today is my last day i thought i was done getting videos of them then i stumbled on this video of the guys the former guys of the hall and i would like you to join me let's go take a look at them as they come back to give back people come back to give back even to their university halls Ghanaians. anyways let's go and see that and i'll be back <laughs> Currently, I am Chief Auditing Assistant at the Directorate of Internal Audit, UCC. Concerning ATL Hall, I got admission into ATL Hall in the year 2003. ATL really shaped my, 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 my life on campus. Name is Anthony Ananpra. Fully told, I am Sir Professor Anthony Ananpra, a retired professor of animal science, specifically veterinary surgeon who talks animal health and disease control, anatomy and physiology of farm animals, and microbiology. I am retired since 2013 when I attained the age of 60, but I have been re-engaged to teach the same subjects on contract, and that is why I am still in the University of Cape Coast. I was first employed in the University of Cape Coast in 1989, on the 9th of August, and apart from my academic duties in lecturing, I had also headed the board of the university hospital and also had become an Ugwa Hall master. It is from there that in 2006 I was appointed the Hall Master of Atlantic Hall. So you will see that the mother is trying to save the boy who has lost the ball which means that even if the students will lose their focus sometimes you do not have to abandon them but set up good counseling to bring them together and when the university has to deal with them they have because they have gone overboard then you try to save them and counsel them because it has uh, a multiplier effects if students don't feel like brothers sisters and loved in the school when they leave the school as alumni they will not also remember and then when i became the home master if I, the trend continued even though there are some few challenges and you realize that uh, there was some a little bit immaturity on the part of the students because they were young and sometimes they misinterpreted some of the things that we used to do but then by and large the experiences i mean was i mean still interesting and then if you look at some of the whole weeks that we did and it was interesting being with them and always move step with step with students and in fact, I mean, I was enjoying being the hall master over the period that I stayed there. And then my vision was to transform the hall into a place as well, the best place in the, on campus. So I started renovation from all the levels and then, and the students were very happy. Before coming to Atlantic Hall, I was in Cape Coast. I was teaching at Pedri GSS. So I knew a lot about Atlantic Hall. And I made a decision that when I go to Atlantic Hall, I become the president of the hall. Even before I bought the forms. And this attracted a lot of criticisms even among the staff of paid DGSs. You can never be the president of Atlantic Hall because it's a male-dominated hall. Eventually, I gained admission 
and I entered the hall. First year, I was the HIV AIDS coordinator for the hall. After my one year stay in Atlantic Hall, my perception of becoming the president of the hall changed because per the constitution of the Atlantic Hall at that time, the president was virtually there. He was the ceremonial figure. As at that time, about 90% of the work in Atlantic Hall was done by the vice president. Per the constitution, the vice president was also the same person as the welfare officer. And as the welfare officer, you were in charge of the room allocation, which at that time was a big issue. And per allocating rooms to your colleagues, you have so much power. Why then do I go and contest for president? No, I really wanted to manage the whole. One thing I like about the schools in Ghana, especially from senior secondary school to the universities, is the maintenance culture and i think this is able to be well done because the people don't rely on the government to do it for them the alumni takes it upon themselves to do some things like renovation the painting the if there are water issues they kind of resolve that it takes that burden of the government for them to focus on other pressing issues i must give you guys the accolade for doing this thing okay i, I, I admire it a whole lot and i have always stated that i'll put whatever i've learned here in ghana to use and by then i'll let you guys know about it at least through my youtube channel here so let's go back to the marine and see maybe we'll be lucky to see mami water <laughs>
that in the future, as I continue to do these school hall videos, I'll be lucky enough to see a video of the alumni physically presenting a project to say, oh, this is what we are doing. I know some of the videos we have seen here in the past, some of them have said things like that, but getting videos like that, is not always easy so i hope i'll be lucky to find videos of the alumni presenting and all that i love to see this because it helps me to pass my message the way it helps me get understood why i do these videos and why i talk about some areas in ghana they i love to see these videos because when i see these videos they help me back my claims do you understand i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that i will see you in my next one if it is your haul comment down there below peace up bye